still Coventry pressing away at this Manchester United goal. Now here comes Sillett. Sillett on the outside right, Humphreys. And a goal! What excitement! Remember, that could be the goal that puts Coventry City in the first division next season. Machin going to take the corner. Lynn Swinger, you'll notice. and getting the little tackle. Steen for Mortimer. Good ball. Little cross and Steen is there. The one goal. He's got it. Colin Steen sneaked it in off Healy's hand. And Colin Steen gets his first goal for Coventry City. All that money looking well worthwhile. Alderson on a run. Yes, 2-1. The tackle didn't bite, and Alderson was allowed to go on to put Coventry back in the lead. Car's corner. Lloyd jumping. Kendon with him. Alderson. Craven stretched for Carr again. That's Lloyd. That's a goal. It's 2-1. Tax Webb, Mortimer, cross, oh he did that beautifully, a goal of sheer perfection, 1-1, 14 minutes into the second half, as good a goal as Dave Cross will score at any time in his life. There's uh, McDonald as well, there's Powell, McDonald. Murphy going in, Hutchison going in! Coop with the free kick. Ferguson again winning it in the air. Oh, a great top of the turn there by Wallace and number two. A mistake really by Phillips. And now it's Hunt. Daly chasing, that's Gilbert, oh and Daly! And a dreadful mistake by Billy Gilbert, gave his goalkeeper no chance, and Jerry Daly has scored twice for Coventry in a matter of minutes. That's been Hunt, one last desperate fling from Coventry. Touch for Thompson, yes he's done it! Well it's a dream come true for Gary Thompson! Three goals he scored tonight. One for West Ham, two for Coventry. 
Butterworth, even then, was prepared to play the right ball, not just hoop it anywhere. This is Bodak. Would he go in on goal? Oh, he tried the most delightful trip. What a way to decide that your team is going through to the last 60. Yes, you're entitled to all of that. And so is number 12, Butterworth. The far side. Thomas, Burley for Ipswich, Thomas again. Still Danny Thomas. Oh, I say, what a shot and what a goal! That's a splendid goal by Danny Thomas. And Gibson has beaten Neil. Is it on here for number four? Gin and Bamba to his right. And Gibson has completed a hat trick. What a marvellous day for Terry Gibson and for the supporters. It's not over yet. It's Gibson with Roberts. Still Gibson. Now for Regis. Cyril Regis, right on the stroke of the final whistle. quickly for Coventry, can Smith get it across, he's got problems because Robson's also arrived, but here's Smith again, Bannister looking to shoot on the turn, a fine goal for Coventry. Involved again, now Regis in space in the middle, good ball to him, Dallas has got three again. Gallagher and Rosario, the combination this time, as Mick Quinn's right foot joins the act. Whose win was all down to the new boys. Very early days, of course, but Dion Dublin is suggesting that perhaps he really is worth two million. Dublin glancing the ball past John Lukic for his second goal for the club. Now there's a chance for Peter and Love. And Love's got Whelan at the far post, and Love is looking for him now. Whelan! Astonishing goal. Acrobatic finishing. Against one of the top teams in the league. Peter and Love, oh, the service was just first class, wasn't it? Perfect ball over, but he's still got a lot to do there, reaching for it with his right foot. James was committed. Luckily picks up the loose ball. Now can he show his pace? Indeed he is. Huckabee! 1-1! One, one. And Darren Huckabee places that ball past Nigel Martin in the Leeds goal. Clearance met by Shaw, Dublin. And Love is onside. What can Peter and Love do here? Whelan. Oh, Dublin's in space. The equaliser. Four minutes into the second half. And Coventry are level. Dion Dublin again on the score sheet. Nielsen. Strachan. Boateng. Did well. And he's away from Southgate as well. It's Boateng, wonderful save, it's Balderman. And Coventry at long, long last have the lead. 
His first goal for the club. Joy for the Romanian. It's taken on by Froggett. Two up with him. Froggett goes for goal! Oh, that no, is no. absolutely brilliant! Oh, well, enjoy it, son. Now, a lot of people might think they won't see a goal like that from Froggett again, Matt, but I've already seen one a few years ago. And he can do this, this is part of his makeup. He's not just crossing a ball, but they back off. They don't think there's a danger. But that is quite a stunning strike from Steve Froggett. Absolutely stunning. You just don't save them. You put do two goalkeepers in there, you might not get it. And a break on suddenly here. Keith brilliantly placed in the middle and scores! Villa went to sleep and paid the price. And the man they tried to sign has given Coventry City the lead. This is Carsley. And now it's Quinn playing it wide to Eustace. Oh, Bothroyd in space, Carsley here, Hartson's there, and Coventry score! And it's that man again, John Hartson! What an extraordinary run he's having! Safri goes for goal! Oh, and how! This then led to Coventry's goal, by this time Wigan were down to ten men after sending off. Jorgensen caused the initial damage, Andy Morell finished his fourth in four league games. As injury time ticked over... in round four with Coventry's third of the afternoon, the big Nigerian's seventh in 21 FA Cup appearances through the years. One last chance for Coventry. And it's the long distance expert, all or nothing for the Sky Blues now, of his long, long run, a long, long throw. And they've headed into the net, and Coventry have rescued themselves. It's the captain, Scott Dan. Go on! Go on! Go on! Have a go! Shut up! Yeah! Yeah! Made the hosts pay for those missed chances. Ikemi managed to keep out O'Donovan's shot, but Lukas Jutkovic was on hand to level for City.